In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Mg3N2, magnesium nitride. So the first thing we need to recognize is that magnesium is a metal, nitrogen is this non-metal here. This is going to be an ionic compound. So the electrons, they'll be transferred from the metal to the non-metal. Let's write three magnesium atoms and then two nitrogen atoms. Magnesium's in group two on the periodic table, so it has two valence electrons. Each magnesium has two valence electrons. Nitrogen, group 15, sometimes called 5A, it has five valence electrons. So we said we have these metals, the magnesium, and then the two non-metals, the nitrogen. The metals, they'll transfer electrons. So we'll have one electron go here, here, and then here. That completes the octet on this nitrogen, and these three electrons will go to this nitrogen. So by transferring all of the valence electrons from the magnesium atoms to the nitrogen atoms, we've completed the octet on the nitrogen. Now the nitrogen, each one, it's gained three electrons. So electrons are negative, becomes three minus, and each magnesium has lost two electrons, it becomes two plus. Since the electrons were transferred from the magnesium atoms to the nitrogen atoms, let's put brackets around each nitrogen to show that they're transferred, that they're not shared. Now we have these positive ions and then the negative ions, they're attracted and that forms our ionic bond. So this is the Lewis structure for Mg3N2, magnesium nitride. If you had solid magnesium nitride, it would be a crystal, and that means it would be made up of a number of these formula units. We call these formula units in a repeating pattern. But this is really useful to show us that the magnesium, each magnesium transferred its electrons to the nitrogens, and that's what formed our ionic bond in the Mg3N2 Lewis structure. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.